Well, the Gia is about ready for conversion. Uh, we're going to do a little cleanup, uh, but um, just to show you what uh, was involved in preparing this particular vehicle. Once again, remember the, the VWs, the classic VWs are very easy to do comparatively because there's not a lot of things to remove and they're easy to remove and they're easy to install. So here's the front end. Under the bonnet, the gas tank has been removed, four bolts, disconnect the fuel line, disconnect the vent line, and it's out. And uh, there's the back side of the dash. We removed the block off plate uh, for the radio, and uh, we removed the uh, fuel gauge. And so, yeah, we disconnected that from the uh, fuel tank. Also, it's a mechanical gauge, so it's a cable that's disconnected. So, next, let's take a look at the dash. Well, there's the uh, hole. And so this is room enough for our JLD 404. It's just slightly larger. And we're going to have uh, two switches that go here. And so that'll work out nice. And then over here, where the um, fuel gauge was, we've already installed the Curtis 840 display. And so it's, it's ready to be plugged in and it's ready then once we run the wiring. So the other progress is of course in the back here. So you can see where the uh, package shelf was or the bench to the rear seat has been removed. And so we just have the, uh, the void there and we have the area underneath what would be, you know, the rear deck of the car, and in this case, uh, it's also the uh, convertible top sits on top of this. So that's where our battery packs will go, one where the fuel tank was, and one right here where the rear seat would be. Now take note, I told you that the cells would be slightly off-centered. With the number of cells that we're putting in front here, um, they're not going to be off center too much. But the reason for that is the steering column and the battery box will sit right on top of the body tabs right there that mount to the twin torsion beam bars um, or tubes. And so it will again be bolted in place where the existing mounting points were. There's four bolts. Let's take a look in the back. Where once was the four-cylinder internal combustion engine, and now there is not. And so what we have left is uh, some wiring. So we've got uh, wires that went to the uh, choke, wires that went to the um, um, coil, um, to the uh, oil pressure gauge, and to the generator. And so we will pull 12 volts. We need, you know, 12 volts for our control circuits back here. We will pull uh, 12 volts from some existing wiring here. Transaxle. The guy had uh, some teeth missing on the flywheel, and so you can see some um, debris left in there. Um, won't have to worry about that. He's not going to have a starter anymore, and the starter has been removed. We'll put a block off plate there. And so you can see it's a nice blank canvas, plenty of room here, especially considering that. The only things are going back here will be the motor and the inverter, uh, our cooling system, and that's about it. I mean, uh, some electronics, but not much in the engine bay. And so we'll uh, we'll move on.
This video is sponsored by ev for You Custom Conversions online at ev4unow.com and evworkshops.com and ev for You's three-day hands-on conversion workshops are the fastest way to go from no knowledge about doing a conversion to being able to do a complete conversion. And so we recommend that if you're interested in doing a conversion for yourself or doing a conversion uh, for others, for instance, starting a business or if you have an existing business, uh, we have a lot of people that are uh, already in the automotive repair business that are thinking about adding a little side uh, business because they see the writing on the wall and so they want to get in early build the uh, experience that they need to be someone who's recognized and known in the industry but the fastest method to learn what you need to know is going to be one of ev for use three-day hands-on conversion workshops. Now, perhaps you're not in a hurry. Perhaps you don't want to travel to Northern California and attend a workshop in person. Well, then the workshops are also available at evworkshops.com and you can take the workshop online. The online version offers a few things that you don't get in the hands-on version strictly because of the fact that there's no time limitation. So whereas we have to fit everything within three days uh, in the hands-on uh, scenario, in the online there's additional information additional examples provided that you don't get in person. But again, there's benefits to the hands-on version also. It kind of depends on your learning style for one. Another is that uh, you have the opportunity to interact with others. We have folks from all over the world and from all different educational backgrounds that attend these workshops. So you get more than just the ev for you content you get the input from others that have varying backgrounds and so it's quite an intense three days of learning and you get to meet people from all over the world so uh, you know after hours people get together and uh, go out to eat and converse and so it's uh, it's an intense three days of learning but it's also uh, three days of, of good times. And so, you know, regardless of what your objective is, if you're just looking to uh, convert your favorite car to electric, if you're wanting to make a business out of it, uh, whatever your, you know, objective is, this is not only the fastest way, but it's the best way, the most complete way whether it be a DC conversion that you're interested in or AC conversion, whether you're interested in components that you can buy off the shelf or components that you can uh, get out of salvaged electric vehicles. All these things are covered in detail. And it is uh, a very complete coverage of the conversion process. So if hands-on learning is uh, the way that you would like to go, then I recommend that you get on ev for us um, workshop notification list if there aren't any being offered at the current time. They only offer so many of the hands-on uh, conversion workshops per year and they're kept to a 
small group of people so that there's good one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Everyone's questions are answered completely. And so when you have that opportunity, you see the dates come up, we recommend you book as soon as possible because they do fill up quickly. Now, as an alternative to that, you can take the evworkshops.com, the online version. They are uh, a series of 50 lessons. Uh, it's broken down into modules and the modules are broken down into lessons. And it's uh, approximately 30 hours of video content plus additional, you know, links to additional content. And it's, you know, once you sign up and once you purchase it, you have access for one year from the date of purchase. And you have the ability to um, view the information anytime from anywhere that you have an internet connection. So for those who aren't able to make the, uh, the in-person uh, hands-on workshop, this might just be uh, the ticket for you. Included with either the uh, online workshop or the three-day hands-on conversion workshop is one hour of consultation service, which is included with the purchase. Uh, with the hands-on version, we also provide a book and a binder with the reference material and we also provide lunch all three days at local restaurants. So if you've ever thought about doing uh, an electric car conversion and uh, perhaps you know you just are interested and uh, are curious and you don't want to do a conversion at this time, you're not looking to go into business, this is still the best way to get all of the inside information that you would ever want as well as it's accurate information one of the things about the internet is that there's a lot of information out there but there's also a lot of false information out there especially on this topic it's amazing how much misinformation is out there and how many people are out there doing it and they're doing it incorrectly and they're uh, not doing it in a safe manner. ev for You will teach you how to do a safe, simple, and reliable conversion. And they've done it many, many times. And people from all over the world have attended their workshops, have set up successful businesses, and their methods are tried and true. And so, if you want to cut to the chase, you want the accurate, timely information, then I highly suggest that you uh, sign up for one of the workshops, either in person or online. Or if you have questions, feel free to contact ev for you at info at ev 4 And they'll be happy to answer any questions you have regarding conversion or their workshops. So until then, we hope that you enjoy the ride.